Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Last Story. Last time we made it here to Chapter 3 where we're inside of a bar and it looks like we're going to get our first taste of kind of like how town life or like, you know, in a, in a town where we go around and talk to people a bunch. So it's probably going to be a dialogue heavy episode. So yeah, anyway, first thing I should probably mention is I did go into my menu and change a bunch of my color schemes around. You'll first notice that I changed Zale's stuff to look kind of like Shulk from Xenoblade. Uh, that's just for nostalgic value. All I really did was change his shirt to be white and his jacket to be red. Everything else is kind of dark like it was before. Anyway, the other people look a lot different too. Uh, this dude, I, I didn't change him that much actually. He was mostly wearing dark clothes. I just made it silver instead of black. <coughs> As for her, um, oh, what's her name? Seren. Yeah, I made, put her all in all pink just because... I like my women in pink, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, this dude, I kind of left exactly the same, just because he looks cool the way he came. And I was like, I don't really want to change that. Anyway, I put the Asian girl in all blue, because I thought that looked good. And I put this dude in an orange shirt with fucking white pants. I don't know. And a red scarf. I don't know. It looked cool, uh, I guess. It was better than what he was wearing. It was just all brown. Dark and brown. Anyway, so let's do some dialogue. Let's not worry about aesthetics right now. Oh, Zayo. Seems you had something of a hard time of it today. Are you alright? No serious wounds? No, we're all good. What's her name again? I'm absolutely fine, really. I didn't know we were going to get dialogue choices. I don't to say nothing's wrong. It tends to make me worry even more. Is that right? The times when you look the most sure of yourself are when I know you're about to do something reckless. Mm-hmm. My mom used to tell, tell me that, that as well. well. I'm probably going to just read I'm through this dialogue. If I listen to all of it out loud, it's going to take forever. It's okay. You've brought back some happy memories. Some happy memories. Oh, well, at least it's not a long dialogue. At least not yet. Hey, I'm sure we'll have Zale. some long conversations. Have a drink on me. Okay, <laughs> drunken hoe. Wow, Seren. This must be record time. Not possible. <laughs> what, you think I'm drunk? Look, I'm as sober as... Whatever's normally sober. <laughs> anyway, get some alcohol in ya. Don't rush me, Beezy. Uh, I'm a bit lost here. Saran does appear to have become slightly incoherent. Just slightly. Just ever so slightly. Well, it's okay. Look, if you're not drinking, then I'll have to get another drink. <laughs> well, what? Can't can't oh, argue there. Zale. While I was at the bar, you turned into a rather handsome chap. Oh no. Why? What? Why? Don't take advantage of the drunk chick. Don't do it. About Don't do it. Some chap sale. All right, being handsome's not enough for him. Okay. They're all. You gotta have a big cock too. Is that what you're trying to say? Lying chaps, cheating chaps. Oh. And if they're handsome on top, I'm supposed to fall for him. Oh, is and that I how it is? One handsome chap who's all three. Oh look, there he is. You know who this chick's hey, voice reminds me of? At least Hold on. I'm handsome. <laughs> See what a horrible flirt he is. Don't you dare turn into that, Zale. <laughs> Don't turn into this a raging guy. alcoholic. She loves his like orange shirt either. and red scarf. <laughs> I'm glad I have so many good role models. Her voice reminds me of the chick from Game of Thrones, the one that Jon Snow's banging now. Uh, what the hell's her name? Or I should say, was banging. Um, what the hell's her name? Um, 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 Egret. The girl Egret in Game of Thrones, the one that was a wildling, and yeah. Anyway, her voice reminds me of that chick. That's all I'm saying. Come on, Yurik. Come on, Yurik. Why, why don't you sit with the rest of us? I can do without all the shouting and singing and spilling things. This guy is clearly the outcast of the group. R but you're part of the gang, yeah. You're part of the gang, bro. You gotta, you gotta be part of the festivities. On the battlefield, yes. But my services don't extend to socializing in the pub. We can't all be delightful social butterflies like Seren. Jealous? Anyway, I'm going upstairs. Using magic really wears me out. More than you might realize. Whatever. Excuses, excuses, Yurik. Don't worry about him. He's just one of those people who tends to keep to himself, you know? I bet he likes us deep down. <laughs> of course he does. Reminds me kind of like of Soren from um, Fire Emblem... Uh, Path of Radiance on the GameCube. It's kind of a loner type personality, but yet he's still one of the crew. No, Dargan. Just being paranoid. I've got to keep my sword in top shape. Can't relax otherwise. Oh, they got to kick in the nice little violin music while that we talk to this paranoid. guy. It does make you a bit of a worrywart. How long ago?
showed if we start up our band of mercenaries. Long time you ago. You are the only one still standing from back then. I know. They must have had some awesome people in the crew before. Not. They're not alive anymore. Can't have been that awesome. a flashback again hey, seems like it kid <laughs> you on your own <laughs> same as me then well come on come with me this must be when Zale and Dargan met yeah that's what it's looking like is it Dargan? I always I can't remember how to, f to pronounce it. I keep forgetting his damn name. Balancing on the edge of a knife. That's how we live our lives. I'm not gonna make you live like this forever, Zayo. I promise you. I promise you. The first chance we get, we're moving up in the world. Hmm. To We've all the lost east a lot side. in the war. Things that were important to us. But we'll get them back. Oh, we'll get them yeah. back. You said something the day we decided to become mercenaries. We'll all be knights one day. You'll see. I've never forgotten those words. Me neither. And this job could be our break. Count you Argon and his very You ambitious. don't want to be a knight, trust me. Rumor has it he's quietly building up an army. And I don't mean to quell the monsters. If we show him what we can do, that could be us he's recruiting. We'll do it. Yeah. We will. I guess. If that's what we must. Mm. Any thoughts? It's a mystery. But that must have been some kind of sacred place you stumbled on. Maybe the guardian angel of Lazarus Island is looking out for you. There's a guardian angel. No, Princess Mononoke? I just made it up. But I do feel like our luck is changing. I hope so, anyway. Me too, bruh. Me too. Even though I don't, don't really have too much of a backstory on why, what our history, what was so bad about our history in the first place. But whatevs. So who else we got left here to talk to? We got Orange Man over here. Let's talk to Orange Man. He seems to be the life of the party over hey. here. Lol. Lol. It's true. You are the most beautiful oh, he's woman a player, I player, have I see. ever laid eyes on. Player, player. You've melted my battle-hardened heart. I feel like a new man. Do you like my red fuzzy scarf and my like orange popsicle or creamsicle shirt? <laughs> Just being near you fills me with light and <laughs> magic and joy. <laughs> oh, beautiful one-liners that are terrible. Hey. I yeah, I'll come back later. Looks like that one will be a challenge. But I like a challenge. What do you think, Zale? Oh, we got our player of the group. Okay. I think you flirt with every girl. It seems to be that way. My dad Over gave here me dancing some around like a fool. He, he said, son, if you see a beautiful woman, you have to flirt with her. It's rude not to. Huh. My granddad said so too. And the blacksmith next door. My dad didn't say that. To be honest, he then has kind a of a point. I'm here. It's the golden rule of being a man. I never break it. Not ever. So, in short, you like flirting? I don't like it. I live it. <laughs> it's a big responsibility. <laughs> being a fine <laughs> specimen of a man like myself. Wait. Oh, God. Does this mean you've even tried flirting with Morania? Of course. Of course. It's just... She didn't even notice I was flirting with her. Yeah, she's one of those kind of chicks. What about Seren? <laughs> well, I only like women. Whoa. Ow. Oh. Watch it, oh. Seren. <laughs> Got smacked for oh, that sorry. one. sorry. My hand must have slipped. But don't yeah, worry. Yeah, slipped all the way across the bar, you know. Because I was over here sitting in my seat, and all of a sudden, whoosh, smacking you her in the back of the head. That in. You can pack that in. Pack that we'll in. We'll be busy what? from now on. Better go out and enjoy the city while you can. 
All right, let's go ahead and talk to the bartender. Let's flirt with her ourselves. Your friends are definitely What's a up, nasty baby? Bunch? Definitely. <laughs> Sorry. I hope we're not causing a scene. Actually, as mercenaries go, you all seem really nice. That's good to know. My name's Ariella. My dad owns the tavern. You'll be staying here for a while, right? Just ask me if you need anything. Yeah, uh, my room's up to the stairs to the left, so if you want to um, come say hi later, you just let me know. Thanks. I'm Zale, by the way. Exactly. Zale? That's a nice name. What do you think of the city so far, Zale? I think it's fantastic. You don't even try to hesitate. You say really? this. Really? That's wonderful. <laughs> All the hustle and bustle is too much for some people, but I love it. Of course she loves it. This is her home. Is it always this crowded? Normally there aren't quite so many people, but it's Lady Callista's wedding soon. Oh, God. Okay. Lady who? Is that good you question? I don't know. She's the only daughter of the former count. Oh, the not for another month, but it's already the talk of the town. Oh, I bet it's going to be such an extravagant wedding. How exciting! How exciting! It's a whole different world. Nothing like the life of a mercenary. Indeed. All right. Well, I'm glad I talked to her because you know, it doesn't hurt to flirt with every woman you see. The rule of Yuri Lowell over here. Yeah, I'm probably going to refer to him as Yuri Lowell a lot just because. In Tales of Vesperia, the main character's name is Yuri Lowell. Can we actually go outside and stuff? Well, I'd rather go inside these rooms first. And see what's inside. And is every room going to have a loading? Okay, I thought it was going to load. That wasn't so mm. bad. I like the look in your eye. Do you? You after any rare foreign weapons? If so, then I'm your woman. Wow, even the merchant's going to flirt with me. Yeah, I want to buy some weapons. What do we got? What do we got? We got blades... We got rough e rogue edges. I thought that said rough. Killer cutter and a dagger. All of which seem to be not great. The killer cutter seems to be pretty good, but I only have a thousand monies. So I don't think I'm going to buy anything because I only have a thousand monies. And I haven't really got anything to sell or nothing, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Wait, before I leave, let me check her shop again and see if there was anything. Is there like another menu or is it just. No, it's a weapon shop, so they only sell weapons. Okay. Okay, just wanted to check. Glad I checked here. If I get some money soon, I'll buy one of those uh, killer cutters because it seems stronger than the weapons I have. So let's go upstairs and check out the rooms up here. See if there's anybody else we can talk to. What about this guy? You're a young, little young. Want to chat? Uh, sure. Oh, this must be like we can learn about stuff. You know what? Let's do it. Uh-huh, fighting the arena and getting experience might be just what you need. If you win matches in the arena, your fame will spread. Okay. You got anything else uh, nice to know? Been out about town yet? A guy called Horse opened a shop near this tavern. He's a bit of an oddball, but his work looks good. Want to take a look? Okay. It's seeming like I can go outside and check out the town, which I might have to do in this episode. It's tough to survive combat if you're always using the same old stuff. Survival gets easier if you learn to handle different weapons. Okay, well, that is good to know. What do you got up here? Greetings, here traveler. Trying to play a flute, a I harmonica, or something. Harmonica player. Yeah. Okay, harmonica. Now that your melody has been added to the islands, what kind of song will play? No idea. Sounds like the blues to me. Don't stress too much about different types of equipment. You'll find it's weapons that make the biggest difference in battle. Okay, then. Good to know. All right, should we check inside these other rooms? Ariella's room. Seren and Morania's room. And Zale's room. Okay, I, I don't know if we're supposed to go to sleep or what, but I'm going to look in these rooms. I don't want to go to sleep yet because it might trigger the story to continue. <coughs> Wait, who's this? This is Ariella? Oh. What's your name? Mine's Warren. You got a little kid in here. I want to go outside, out. but I'm too sick. Maybe I should get the hell out of here it's before like I get sick too. falling from the sky. That's what made me oh, ill. Oh, he must have pneumonia then. Oh, wait, no, 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 the, the white stuff falling from the sky was not snow. It was, uh, what was it again? I'm trying to remember what the white stuff falling from the sky was. It was flower petals, right, or something like that? Something like that. Anyway, we're in Seren and Morania's room. Uh-oh, we're in the chick's room. What, what kind of mischief can we get into in here? And yes, this room looks as dark as it looks on the screen, even on my screen. It's pretty damn dark. I was, I was tempted to, uh... Turn up the brightness when I'm playing this game, or at least when I, uh, maybe not when I'm playing the game, but when I uh, edit and render it. I don't mind playing it 
because then it kind of just shows me how dark the areas are. But then when I go to show you guys the video of it, it's really hard to see anything, so you can't really see what I'm looking at. Because sometimes when I render it, it's even darker than what I edited it in. What is Yurik? Yurik's just chilling. He said he was going to go chill in the room, so that's fine. Anyways, alright, let's head outside. It's looking like that's what our, our next destination is anyways, so let's go do it. There's nobody left to talk to, so let's check outside. <sighs> well, we could talk to this dude again. Anything, anything the new money to say? We today. I'll leave it in your hands. Understood. We could do with some new gear. Oh, nice. After that, you should take a look around the city. I'll see you out there later. Okay, well, I'm glad I talked to him again. Back to the merchant's room we go. Hello. I didn't know he was going to give me money. I'll take it. All right, well, in that case, I am going to buy at least one of those new swords because it sounds awesome. I have enough for two of them, but I think I'm just going to buy one. And it's Dagran. Okay, so Dagran is, is his name. I'm just going to buy the one because they said there's shops outside too, so maybe there's some stuff to buy out there. Some Maybe some, some armor or something since all I have is weapons here. Outside to Lazula City we go then. I'm kind of excited. I didn't know there was actually going to be a city to explore. I'm now officially uh, excited to explore. I love exploring. If you didn't watch me play Xenoblade, do it now because, my God, exploring is one of my favorite things to do in games. It really is. South of the castle spread Lazulus City, hub of culture and trade. Naturally, it drew all manner of visitors from across the empire. Sailors, merchants, traveling entertainers, and knights errant, and of course, mercenaries. All were drawn to the city by the lure of fame and fortune. Yet only a lucky few would ever taste the success they longed for. Chapter 4 Lazarus City Home of Champagne Wishes and Caviar Dreams. Nearby and airborne items. The seek icon will flash if an item is near. Some items may be floating on the breeze. Okay. Oh my god, look at that map. There is so many places to go. And why is going outside the tavern chapter 4 already? Why are these chapters so fast? What's the big idea? My bad, dude. I didn't even know I could do that. Sorry. Okay, so immediately we have a fortune teller just chilling right outside. What's up, fortune teller? It is coming to me. I see many people appearing before you with their desperate desires. I see Mother Water and Father Fire, each consuming the other. And then, nothing. I can see no future. Or further, I have never experienced the like before. Your destiny is a strange one indeed, but do not fear, for fear will achieve nothing. On that corner is the shop of one named Horus. Good fortune awaits you there. Well, then maybe I should go check out the corner shop with Horus. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm thinking that's like... Oh, horse shop's just over there. I don't know if what fortune will come true, but I suppose there's no harm in trying. That's probably where I need to go, in which case I'm going to look around first. Because, oh, 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 Central Plaza. Is this just a small scene to look around, or is this a cutscene? Oh, okay. When you hit a new area, I guess it has to show you a thing. Doors that you can open are shown by, yeah, okay, I get it. Predictions of fortune always come true. Oh, wow, okay. I like that you can just run people over, like, get out of my way! Get out of my way! Y'all in my way! <laughs> God, I'm gonna love that. Um, well enthused, informed traveler. If you, yeah, okay. So this is what I don't. I don't even know where I am. I'm just. I'm having way too much fun already. Can we? Uh. Okay. Let's just talk to this guy. So, will you go to the arena? I'll go. We have a challenger. Show this brave. Oh, what? Huh? Who? What? You to go to the arena? You just talk to the fool right outside? I don't, I didn't know if I, 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 I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, God. What, oh, what is Seren going to say to me? You know what this place is, right? Huh? No, can't say I do. Oh, really? <sighs> yeah, so, really. You're a guy, right? I know how it is. <laughs> you have a certain <clears throat> needs for <clears throat> time Wait, where the hell are we? <laughs> Sir, Seren. But don't you worry. When you feel the urge, this is the place to sort yourself out. <laughs> I know, I know. Everyone's embarrassed their first time. What the fuck? Did we find the whorehouse or something? We'll be back for more. I, I, I really don't think. Oh, don't be such a scaredy cat. You'll never get any better if you don't practice. Go on. Be a man and get stuck in. 
Here at the arena. Of course, she was arena. making dirty jokes about yeah. the arena. Nothing like a good old fight. Why? What did you think it was? Oh, I don't know. What did you imply that it was, you crazy whore? Wheat on special offer. One for only 42 Gs. Look for the red flag. Okay, I don't really want to go to the arena yet. I'm just, uh, I just asked that guy about it. What, he just automatically takes you there? So where the hell are we then? Now he took me somewhere away from where I was. There you are, Zale. Oh, God. Now who's huh? talking to me? Huh? Who? What? Who said that? We actually have to go into seek mode? Did you say that? You didn't say that. Who said that? Did you say that? Did the wall say that? There he is. I knew it sounded oh, like him. It's just you, Dagwood. You surprised me there, bruh. Surprised me there. I would have settled for a simple hello. Well, I'm just trying to explore the city, and you're like just that. interrupting it. Did you want something? Yeah. I hear a company of knights is visiting the city. I thought you might want to take a look. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know how you find these things out so quickly. I have my ways. Anyway, I thought you might be interested. <laughs> Guess I'll see you there. Wait, Dagrin. Why do you always have to run off like that? Dagrin! Uh, meet up with him later. I'm trying to explore here, and Dagrin interrupted me. Step right up. Welcome to the arena. Okay, so the arena's over there, that big circle on the map. I'm just trying to explore right here, people. Lazulus guards. Don't piss them off. Okay, that's a dark alley. Nothing ever happens. Nothing good ever happens in a dark alley. I kind of like the layout of the city already, and I like that I can even explore the city at all. Lazulus one set. Okay. Party magical attack. Cool. Free items. I'm down. Glad I'm exploring. This is cool. There's a cat back here. Somebody probably lost their cat, and we're probably going to have to come over here again when they can find it. This is going to be hard to remember where I am, but at least the map doesn't spin around and shit, so I should be able to find my way around as long as I get used to the map. Just having fun exploring this crazy back alley. It's very one straightforward back. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was there shininess on the ground? What is that? What was that? Can I, do I have to seek it? How does it work? I saw the shiny on the ground. Not cool. It stopped shining. Not cool, game. Okay, what the hell? I don't want to sit down on the damn bench. Are you serious right now? <sighs> people. Where'd all these people come from all of a sudden? There wasn't anybody back here a second ago. Maybe they just just rendered. Whoa, whoa. Oh, God. Artisan's way. Okay, I thought we got into another cutscene. I'm trying to explore here. All of these things are just throwing off my mojo. We can go into the good shop, then let's check out the good shop. Yes, master. I figure I'll it's just this is probably just going to be an exploration episode. I don't think we're going to get into any fights unless we get into some fights inside the city. All right, so we got the good shop, which just has some copper, iron, pelt, and silk. Don't know what that stuff's for yet, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Maybe we can create items. I don't know. Maybe we can okay, synthesize weapons, something along those lines. Oi, over here! Come over here! I've got all sorts of goods and weapons that'll interest you. Sure. That's where I was trying to go anyways, little kid. You're just a sign bearer. Okay, so we got blade, rogue edge, kill a cutta, and a dagger. All stuff that we already are aware of, and I'm not going to buy any of right now. Looking for an armor shop if I'm looking for anything. There's so many people I could talk to, but I bet they just say random shit. Wait, what? Wait, there's quests? Oh, no. Coconut milk. Ingredients I need are a coconut, some sugar, and a banana. I'll give you two pieces of gnome copper if you bring the ingredients for me. So, there's quests. So that means I need to talk to everyone I walk by. Oh, snap, we can upgrade stuff too? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Upgrade cost, 200. Killer cutter, upgrade it. Yes. Aw, oh, yeah. That's the way to go right there. We're definitely going to revisit that guy. So, you're telling me I should talk to everyone I walk by? They should have a marker on the map. See, that was one thing I liked about Xenoblade, is there was a marker on the map for everybody 
who actually had a quest. But man, oh, I'm gonna have to like actually talk to everyone who has an A button thing next to them. Because you never know who's gonna have something important to say. Oh wait, wait, there, there's a door over here I passed right by. At least the map lets me know there's places to go inside of. That would be shitty if it didn't. Equipment shop, what do we got? This is probably gonna have armor in it, I would imagine. Yup, armor, which is a shit mode more cheaper than weapons. Do I need any of this stuff? I don't think so. I think this is all the stuff that people already have equipped. So, no need for any of that stuff. That's fine. That's good to know. There might be a better armor shop around here somewhere. So anyway, let's keep going around the arena and check all these little side paths, shall we? Uh, people... Oh, oh little kid, what, what do you got to say to me, you little messenger boy? I haven't been feeling... It's nothing serious, really. Okay, well, whatever. Fine. That looks like a dead end door, which probably leads somewhere later, but we can't go there now. Can we do any of our moves when we're walking around here? Nope, just that button, which apparently makes it look so we can look behind us, which is kind of cool. It's like for a racing game when you can look behind you. It's basically that button. Alright, I'm trying to get back to where I started before I got taken to the arena automatically, so I could actually go to that corner shop that I wanted to go to. Okay, so here's the archery shop. There's an archery shop? Well, I guess there has to be, right? Because Zale is an archer. If we don't forget that Zale was an archer. Alright, so the wizard slayer, which is just ammo, I think. Yeah. And a prank banana. Huh. What? I, I, I kind of want to buy a prank banana because I don't know what it is. And I want to shoot one at somebody and see what happens. That's pretty funny. You can get a prank banana. That is hilarious. Oh, no. 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 Don't be a cutscene. Don't be a cutscene. Don't be a cutscene. Don't be a cutscene. No. Damn it. Oh, look. It's really him. General Astor. Wow. So that's the legendary general. He's never been defeated. Pride of the Empire. There's some big names arriving. I tell you, this wedding is going to be one to tell the grandkids. The knights look so heroic and majestic. I'll be a knight too one day. No matter what it takes. Sometimes being a knight is not all that it's cracked up to be, people. that all we got or what just a quick scene of watching the knights walk by and that's it because that's totally not what I wanted to do right now I'm trying to head back to where I started like it's almost I'm so lost I'm going back to the tavern yeah you what go ahead you? I'm still looking right. around bro don't stay out too late shut up you don't tell me what to do so my guess is I can already finish this chapter or whatever if I just go back to the tavern so I'm gonna try and finish looking around here okay so we got the castle gate plaza Anybody else I can talk to around here? That one takes us into the castle, which I would very much love to go in the castle if I can. That'd be awesome. I don't know if we're going to have time to do that in today's episode, though. This may be a slightly longer episode than I've been doing for the first two, like meaning we're going to get past the 30-minute mark, which I think is pretty much inevitable at this point. Um, but anyways, yeah. That's probably going to happen a lot on this Let's Play because it's not like Xenoblade so far because I can't save it wherever I'm standing. That was one thing about Xenoblade that I really, really loved, is that I could, anywhere I was at any point in the time, as long as I wasn't in the middle of a cutscene, I could save it. And I did not read what he said. I've got these contacts. I've got the contacts, but I ain't got no materials. Okay, so he wants some, he wants to make a pocket watch. All the posh types want a piece like this. I need a bar of copper, a bar of iron. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. So a bar of uh, copper and a bar of iron. I think I can go to the material shop and buy both of those things. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm probably not going to do any of these quest things right this moment. If the quest things is like a big thing, you guys can just let me know. If the quest things are really just like extras, whatever. I mean, uh, oh, trust me, extras. I'm all about extras. Don't get me wrong. Like we see this treasure chest or whatever this is. Open up, please. Rare item dragon fang. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm all about exploring. 
Might be best to get back. You might might want to not tell me what to do, Zale. I didn't know there was going to be a timer too. What the heck? That's what the Porsche said. I don't know. I was just talking about. Just talking about lucky frogs. Yeah, the feeling this stuff has been falling. Where am I? I'm so lost. I get that the arrow is probably pointing me toward the tavern. Is it wrong to like not go back at night? I really don't care. I honestly have no care at all to go back. I'm trying to explore here. I don't care about your your garbage ass curfew, Zale. You're a grown ass man who can go have sex with ladies whenever he wants, according to Seren. So you know what? You do what you want, bro. You explore that town. No, don't fall off the edge, even though I probably can if I want to. I want to finish looking around. Okay, now I'm just going in a circle here. Let's keep going this way. Um, oh, shit, this is like a dead end. Never mind. We need to get out of this circle, fucking circle jerk I'm in the middle of here. Okay, this way. Check out what's down here. The music likes to just kick in randomly, too. Oh, God, not another cutscene. Okay, good, good, good. Just another area. Just another area. I'm okay with this. Shops everywhere. Now, do the shops close if I don't go to them early? Uh-huh. The market is so realistic. Well, I think the one thing this already has a leg up on on Xenoblade is the town is actually a bustling town. The people aren't just kind of cookie cutter and you can only talk to certain ones. I mean, they are kind of, yes, but I mean, like, they're actually walking around. Oh, these are the ingredients I needed, huh? She wanted a banana, a coconut, and was it an egg that she needed? I don't remember. Can we check quests in our log or something? Oh, snap, you can actually look at the map. <gasps> I didn't know you could do this. That's fantastic. I think I started... I don't even remember. Whatever. I want to see if we can look at, like, quests. Is there a way to look at quests? Options, tutorial, uh, quest, something, I don't know. Is there, <sighs> I wish there was a way. There might be a way. I'm just, I just don't know what way that is. Whatever. All I remembered was coconut and banana. I might need to go back to her and talk to her. Oh, we can get dyes here for certain items. Okay. I want, I'm probably going to try and get all the dyes just because I'm a completionist like that. Because I like collecting everything that I possibly can, if I can. If it's not like too ridiculous. What on earth is this dirt? I don't know. There's a well here. This is pretty much a dead end, so let's just go back now. Is that a treasure chest back there? Oh, I thought I saw a treasure chest back there. Can I talk to this fool sitting over here? What's up, bro? Have a seat here. Should I? Let's see what happens. The sea breeze feels good, doesn't it? I used to work in the port to get past that gate. I still like to come back and try to make memories. The city's built here since we to go every day. It must be hard work working at the port. Do you know the most important thing for a docker is? Uh, being strong. It is a docker. You need to be strong. It must be the other word. Like you gotta keep up training. Nice. I got some free physical defense. I'll take it. I'm glad I took the time to sit down with that old man. You were worth it. You were worth it. All right, so these, okay, those are two shops. We already, we already explored those. I'm glad that the shops are marked in orange so you can find them easily. Wait, what? Oh, God, I keep doing that. Thanks a lot, your lifesaver. Here's the events I'm working on right now. Monthly birthday party. What do you need? The ingredients you need are a coconut, a bag of wheat, and an egg. Well, I have a coconut. I can get a bag of, I can get an egg, but the bag of wheat, I'm not sure where I can get that from right now. I'll have to find out. <laughs> Um, let's see. Let's go back here and see what's back here. I mean, I'm being very thorough, aren't I? Oh, well. The good thing is, is I won't have to be thorough again if I walk through the city a second time. I can just go to where I need to go. So, it's always good to explore your new places as thoroughly as you can the first time. That way, if you need to go somewhere, you can remember... Just m try to remember the layout of the city. Anyway, party, magical defense, plus one. Awesome. Now, I'm curious if there are items that I'm picking up or there's just actual stats are going up. Are my stats, like the base stats of whatever it says, are they just automatically going up? Because that's cool. Because I don't have to use items and shit. And they're not, like, temporary. Alright, so where are we? Oh, God, another area I haven't been to yet. The Fountain Plaza. <sighs> I am enjoying the environment that I am thrust into, though. This is a major plus for me so far. 
Alright, that's cool. Alright, what do we got around here? <laughs> I'm such a thorough explorer that I'm probably going to be making this episode way too long. It's alright. What I do know, though, is I can end it whenever I want, because all i got to do is hit one of these 20 save points I've been walking by. So that's a good thing. I don't mind, as long as I'm not going to get thrust into something else that I don't want to do yet. Party magical attack, plus one. Awesome. That's good for Yurik, I imagine. Gotta have Yurik's magic go up as high as you can get it. Fucking maze-ass maze. Oh, whoa, what? You can nudge through a fucking crevice? That's awesome. Very slow, though. It's like a beat for me. Drop the beat, Zale. It's like a fucking beat. Drop the beat. Now, that shininess on the ground, is it still there? Okay. If I see another shininess on the ground like that, I'm going to try to use my seek mode on it like immediately. Alright, there's nothing back here, huh? Just a complete dead end. Fine. Fine, dead end. Fine. Now, is it automatically going to make me go back to the tavern if it gets too late? Hey there. Want to play a game with me? Do I want to play a game with you? Who said that? Did you say that? I wonder what... Okay. Who said hey that? Did you say that? A game? Yeah. I'll hide special toy coins all around the city. Oh, no. If you manage to find them all, I'll give you so. Sure. All right. I'll go and hide the coins. I have to go find all the coins around the whole city? Okay. I've, hidden I've six just walked coins around the whole city. They're super shiny, so you'll know them when you see them. Good luck searching. Oh, my goodness. Well, shit. That's Ow. something we're going to have to save for next sure. episode, because goddamn. Anyway, let's finish looking around these shops. I seriously want to find that corner shop. Archery shop. Okay, we're back here. Or, yeah, we are. We're back. For, okay, we've been here before. All right, so where I want to go is north, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I guess we went around. Yeah, we did. We want to go back up this way. I like that I can hold the map up and just follow it. That's kind of cool. All right, so is this where we started? What is this? What was that for? Oh, wait. We're not far enough. Sorry, lady. I didn't mean to run into you so hard. This is the tavern, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So we're back at the tavern. Let's go to the corner store, damn it. I want to see what my good luck at the corner store is going to be. That was the first thing I was going to do, and then I got so fucking spun around and sidetracked. Not cool, guy. Horse's shop was my good luck for the oh, day. I oh, I don't believe we've met. Right. Could you be a traveler, you perhaps? Be a traveler, perhaps? Then you've made the right okay, please come right in. And today is your oh, lucky good. day. You 1, so customer, be... yeah. Oh, what a wonderful moment. I think this day has finally arrived. To celebrate this occasion, I would like to offer you one time like only you free you weapon. Oh, yeah, I like it already. Upgrade? What shall I upgrade? You shall upgrade a weapon because defense is for noobs. Free upgrade on my killer cutter. Hell yeah, I just bought it and upgraded it already. Now it's got another upgrade. Hell yes. So now everything from now on is going to make me pay to upgrade. That's fine. Well, I'm not going to really worry about upgrading weapons anymore right now. I'm all... I'll take your guys' advice on upgrading weapons, though. Like, should I just do it, spend all my money on that kind of stuff? Or am I better off waiting until I get better, equi better equipment? So, um... Wait, what? The wind is always blowing. Sometimes you get really strong gusts that blow precious things around. Huh. Okay. Let's check it out. Windy alley. Anything cool? Where you going? Anything cool? I'm looking for cool things. Looking for cool things, looking for cool things, looking for cool things, looking for cool things. Also looking for shiny things because there's six coins laying around the whole city that apparently I need to find. I'm not going to do that in this episode though unless I run across one and get lucky. Alright, where haven't we, where have we not looked? I feel like I've been over here. Yeah, I think I have. I think I've explored just about everything now in terms of like... Maybe I haven't explored every single alleyway or anything yet, but I think I've checked out all the main areas. Yeah, because there's the market again. Yeah, I think I've actually checked out What's basically the all idea? the main areas, which is good. Which is good. I'm glad I got to that point. In that case, I think we can only get these random items that he's talking about flying around off from seek mode, so that's cool. Well then, I think that's going to conclude this episode of Let's Play Last Story. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my exploration of this huge city of Lazulis. 
and we won't have to explore it quite as thoroughly again, except for, oh, 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 a coin, a coin, a coin. Yeah, I got one. I got one already. All right, cool. So that's what, now that we know what they look like, next episode, I'll maybe I'll go around and try to find all the coins. Maybe we'll go into like fast forward mode and wait, wait. Oh, that's a door. Never mind. I thought it was another coin. All right. Yeah, maybe we'll go, maybe I'll go in like fast forward mode and I'll try and grab all the coins and then I'll just meet you back at the tavern. I don't know. We'll see. If that's what I want to do, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll do something else. We'll see. So, see you guys next time on some more Last Story. Peace.